We booked a family vacation and, and naturally I fell down the rabbit hole of Amazon travel products that everybody must have. And uh, a lot of the videos that I was watching, the people weren't even testing them out. So I bought the ones that influenced me the most, the things that I think will actually make my family vacation a little bit easier, a little bit better, a little bit, maybe even cheaper. Some of these things could potentially save you some money. So I did split this, this video is gonna be split up into a couple different categories. So this is two days prior to vacation. I really should be packing right now. So I'm trying to get through this so that I can start packing. So the first part of each chunk of the video is um, first impression, why I bought it, and how it came packaged and all of that jazz. And then the second part of that will be actually testing it out and what are my actually thoughts, actual thoughts on it now that I've used it and traveled with it. And this is all by airplane. A lot of it may actually be helpful for like a train or car trip as well. So the first chapter is packing. The second chapter is going to be at the airport or on the airplane. And the third chapter will be a few things that I found for on vacation. So this first one, um, packing. This came kind of like wrapped in cellophane. This is the thing that I'm probably most excited for in this packing category because I think it will actually be the most helpful. I like to pack a lot of sunglasses and my husband also has a pack um, his regular glasses as well as a pair of sunglasses. So I got, how fun is this color? This is, it comes in a bunch of colors, but highlighter yellow was like, this was my jam. So when you snap it, you can fit one, two, three, four, five pairs of sunglasses glasses in here roll it up and it's super protected like they could crush your luggage and this this like shape is still protecting everything I know glasses are very expensive I don't spend a whole bunch of money on my sunglasses I like my blenders and they're like 40 ish bucks I I would be sad if they were gone but like I wouldn't be heartbroken to to have to replace them simple but like I feel like that's very helpful next every single little ounce of weight in your luggage matters so bringing two heavy glass bottles that could potentially break or leak out it's just like that's too much of a pain so um, I've used one of these before I got it in a, a subscription like Scentbird or something like that and uh, you oh oh yeah I think it's the same as Scentbird actually <gasps> these were so cheap too and you get two of them but I mean I guess the whole point of Scentbird is is not the case it's the perfume how do you fill that up? Do I really have to just spray? Oh no, okay, so they, there's instructions. The instructions are hella not useful at all. This one I'm not feeling super duper confident on, so we will see how that works out. It came as a two pack, and uh, you could get them in different colors. Like I could have gotten like one pink and one blue, but we're, we're not really like that, we really like black. <laughs> so, so we get a lot of black. Next up is something that's absolutely genius. I've never thought about it before, but literally everybody says this is a must have, a must do really is to put an air tag in your luggage if it gets lost you know where it is you're not relying the whole the whole idea honestly about the whole plane situation as well as you don't want to rely on the airport you want to rely on yourself as much as possible so the airport's not going to know or be able to provide you immediate answers if something is lost so like say you're going to a wedding and you have expensive dresses and all of your accessories jewelry and things like that this would just help give you the extra peace of mind I know that there's um there's the Samsung tags as well. My husband actually uses those all the time, but I wanted to give this one a test and if I wanted to stick it on something else in the future, then it's on my phone, because I have an iPhone. Drives him nuts. This one I almost talked myself out of buying. I couldn't, I was on the border of, it doesn't make rational sense. I think it was only nine bucks. I didn't get it in black, actually. Are you so surprised? Guess what color I did get it in? Khaki. I just thought that this looked really nice. Um, I didn't think that it was gonna be big enough for all my brushes, because I do use fairly large face brushes. I probably should have gotten two, but then I was thinking like, do I really need to do that? I usually just throw my brushes in my makeup bag with my makeup, but then rationally thinking that's really not good for them. You, I really shouldn't do that, so I should put them in something like this little silicone makeup sleeve. I think I like it. It does appear to be very easy to clean, something that is going to actually protect everything. And then it has this magnetic closure, which is actually pretty strong. Like you actually have to pull it apart. So maybe, perhaps, I think I do like it. One thing I kind of sort of didn't get were packing cubes. I'm not convinced that those are actually helpful in any way. I feel like I can pack a suitcase pretty good and that everything stays together and it stays fairly neat. But 
I do usually have a struggle with all of the toiletries. So every single time we go on vacation, I just use gallon Ziploc bags. And every single time I do it, I end up busting the seams by the Ziplocs on the way home at some point and something leaks. But it's usually contained within the, um, the Ziploc bag, but it's also very wasteful. So I decided to spring for a, uh, a three pack of these cubes for my toiletries. And they are like decent, decent sized little cubes. So I'm gonna have one um, for my stuff, one for Daryl's stuff, and then one for the girls' stuff. Stuff. It's clear so you can see through it and it's like sturdy. These are like made of a sturdy canvas They feel like a pretty good quality like nice thick plastic I'm pretty confident that these are gonna work out this last thing. It looks like a laptop sleeve It's called Nichelle. You deserve a bag that makes packing simpler and upgrade your style. It's like a quilted bag It's slightly padded. It doesn't really feel like it's very padded this zipper um, it kind of expands, not a whole lot. And there were a bunch of different color options. So I got black with a gold zipper, loving that. It's got this khaki on the inside, so cute. And then how is it going to shut with everything in it? Cause it's got zippered pouches up here. This is like really good for bottles because it'll keep them upright and you can just unzip, grab like the whole, that's a nice one. I like that. This one's also a big, a big fat zipper with, you could put, I feel like you could put bottles in here, but it's so thin. It just does not look like it can expand enough. Huh, this feels redundant. Like I feel like I only needed this or the packing cubes. I don't think I needed both of these, but we'll, we'll put them both to the test. Back from vacation, I've got a tan. I've also got a whole lot of opinions after using this stuff for the past week. Some are absolutely yes. Some are absolutely not in getting returned. Let's just start with the packing things in the same order that we just unboxed it. First up, we have the sunglasses case. My intention was, was to put the sunglasses in here and when we got on vacation, we would have our sunglasses with us. What actually happened was we wore our sunglasses onto the plane because it was sunny out. And then when we got to Florida, we had our sunglasses on us. So we didn't truly need this. I did pack a couple extra pairs of sunglasses thinking I would want to trade out different styles for different outfits. Daryl does wear glasses and he considered putting them in here, but then he got very anxious about storing them in the checked luggage and the potential of them getting lost and rather would carry them on the carry-on. Also, it went on one trip and was barely used and is already getting like damaged, scuffed up right there. It did work really well though. It did its exact purpose. It just, it turns out that it's not necessary and it takes up a whole lot of space in your luggage. The perfume and cologne atomizers, these are an absolute yes. Um, I would say though, as a suggestion, if you're traveling with somebody and you share a bathroom you or you're sharing like toiletry bags at all that you get two different colors because this was a pain in the ass and I smelled like a man for a couple days, but they worked so well. They didn't get dinged up, damaged or anything. Now these look really nice. They feel really nice, but I do have one complaint, but it's really just a warning that you need to moderate how much you spray because one spray is like five perfume bottle sprays. So maybe even if that's too much and you, and you typically wear very little, spray it in front of you, walk through it because one spray is honestly a lot in comparison to like an actual perfume bottle. That's a lot, that's a lot. <laughs> Next up is an Apple AirTag. Every single Amazon travel thing said you needed to have one of these and uh, I agree. I put it in the checked luggage and then I could follow it where it was and I had no anxiety about it where typically I have a whole lot of anxiety waiting at the belt bag claim, just waiting and waiting and waiting and my bag is always like the last one on the belt and I'm just panicking that everything is gone. This just eased that. It was so nice. It was, it's cheap. What are they like 29 bucks or something? This I also really loved and I actually want to buy more of these. So these are the, this is that makeup brush holder. I did put um, like the majority of my makeup brushes. I have a couple that are a little bit too large that would not fit in here. But then I also realized that a lot of the other things that I use for makeup would also fit in here like mascara, eyeliner, brow pencil, lip liner, lipstick, lip gloss. All of those things are also stick shaped. So I want to get another one of these just for those little makeup items. It did not open up and dump out its contents. The magnets aren't like hella strong, but I guess that they're strong enough and the way that this is like shaped and cut doesn't really allow it to open up. 
to dump everything out. So this was a win as well, shockingly, as these three bags because I didn't think that these were going to be as nice or as helpful or as useful or anything as I needed. I knew I was just gonna stick some toiletries in it. It's just a damn toiletry bag. But you know what? I gave one to each of my daughters and had them pack all their toiletries in them and it was nice. Their luggage was obviously kept a lot cleaner, a lot neater, but then when we got on vacation, they just brought this into the bathroom and it kept the counter just a lot neater. There wasn't just a a whole bunch of stuff everywhere. They were they were like using out of the bag and then re-zipping the things back in the bags. Not that I told them to. That's just what they did, but it worked out really well. Um, it did come as a three pack. I ended up packing one with like nail polish and stuff that I wasn't really going to use very much because I wanted to put all of my toiletries into this bag that I was incredibly skeptical about because I didn't think that it could possibly fit everything that I needed to pack like shampoo bottles and conditioner bottles, body wash, loofahs, all of my makeup, all of the stuff that two people need for teeth, um, that two people need for hair, that we two people need for their body, razors, Q-tips, floss, like damn near every single thing that you use in your bathroom to fit into this and it doesn't even seem like it, it like goes out very much, like it could expand very much, but I was shocked. It all fit, it all fit in there. And it fit in there just magnificently. The only negative thing that I have to say about this entire thing is that it looks quilted, so it gives you this idea that it's going to be able to protect the things inside, but the quilting is actually just like a fabric with some stitching. There is no added protection to this bag whatsoever, so um, I still packed it. I didn't pack it like on the bottom or on the top of my luggage. I still packed it like in between clothes and towels so that things wouldn't get damaged, and it did get, really fat and it but it held everything really well and i had it hanging with all that stuff on the hook for the entire week and it it, it was strong so that was also a win out of all of the packing stuff then the only thing that i need to return is the um sunglasses case the plane section has quite a bit more fails over favorites though so let's see what those things are welcome back to the next category which is heading to the airport in the car on the way to the airport you could use these things getting there and being on the airplane um there's quite a bit this is a largest category. This is the one that I was clearly the most concerned about because I am traveling. I have severe motion sickness. I have two kids that also have motion sickness that I also need to keep busy. Um, I also want this to be financially a little bit friendlier for me and I want to be in control of my plane experience. So I have, I have a bunch of products for all of that. Um, first up are these fun little squishy um, collapsible water bottles. They came in a four pack. I think you also had a lot of different color options as well. They also came with two of their own little uh, reusable bags. If you, maybe if it gets wet, this does not fit in the bag very well. Like that's a challenge. I think you would have to take the lid off. I honestly, I don't really see this bag as being very useful. The whole reason I got these is because when you get to the airport, you are asked to dump out your water and uh, then go inside and pay a lot of money for water. Um, also, we usually travel with metal water bottles, which are heavy and also very bulky. So I decided to give these a try. It's platinum cured silicone. It is able to withstand freezing temperatures and even up to 392 degrees without melting. So it felt like a bit more of a safe plastic. They have these rubber bands that hold them closed. So they collapse to 20% of their um, full size size. And then you would pull it apart, unscrew the cap because that would be helpful. <laughs> and um, you have yourself a little water bottle. And when it's full, I imagine it would have a, maybe a little bit more. Oh, I don't know. It is kind of squishy, which I did expect it to be, but I'm wondering how easy it will be to travel or to drink out of these kinds of squishy, a squishy bottle. Maybe it, maybe it doesn't matter. How easy is it to collapse? Um, oh, you literally just smoosh it down, huh? These little rubber bands are a bitch though. So you have to dig them out from underneath the lid once you get it collapsed and make sure you do it over the um, the corner with the base. That way you can make sure that they're held together. I didn't think about any of these things when I ordered it. I thought that I was going to love it. I thought it was going to solve so many problems that it kind of feels like it might create problems, which is a good a good reason why we're testing everything today. Um, it did come with like extra rubber bands. So maybe if you snap one or, um, 
lose it. It's, I, it's attached to it, so I don't think you're going to lose it. So this I intended on using with those, but I'm not sure how well it's going to work out. This is a drink carrier for your luggage. So it slides over the um, the back like that. You can put some important documents in here, like your uh, maybe your ticket information, maybe not super important documents. And you could, you're not supposed to leave your luggage unattended. Just make sure that you grab it off your luggage before you, you would have to grab it off your luggage before you put it away. Which then, where would you put it? This kind of is now starting to feel like also maybe more of a hassle than it's worth, but it seemed like it could be helpful. <laughs> you could put a couple things in here, slide this over your carry-on, cinch it. It doesn't have a good structure on the bottom. I just, I'm very skeptical of this now too. I'm wondering um, if these were <laughs> elevated purchases, because these ones are feeling, these drink ones are feeling like I didn't think those ones through all the way, and um, I typically overthink. This next little section is about motion sickness. So if you do not suffer, do not care. I will put a timestamp up here for you. I do real hardcore. Like it ruins, it will full on ruin vacations because getting there and getting back will be ruined. And basically any excursion you can do, any fun event is going to be ruined because of my motion sickness. So I'm trying out some new things. There are a couple things that do help me quite a bit that are um, canna related. So I will also be relying on those. However, um, I also wanted to try Dramamine, which I had tried like 15 years ago and it did not go well for me. I felt like I was drunk. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I They were like rolling back into the back of my head. Listen, this was on the way to Virginia Beach where my now husband proposed to me and that is what he saw the entire way down there. He had to drive because I was like with Dramamine. So um, I, I'm afraid to give it a try, but I'm gonna give it a try tonight. But the reviews for this one, the non-drowsy say that specifically that doesn't happen to you. So I'm hoping that it is truly non-drowsy because I think that's where all of those effects, I was like, I was so sleepy that I was, I was behaving drunk because I was just that tired and it was like half an hour after taking it. So I'm gonna test that out tonight. So this next thing is absolutely ridiculous and I bought it knowing it was gonna be ridiculous. I have to know if these are going to work. These are motion sickness glasses and the whole idea behind them is that the blue fluid inside of the rings is supposed to balance your equilibrium so that you don't experience the motion sickness. But the key is that you also have to get your peripheral, the peripheral vision. So you have them on the sides as well. And um, these are made of like a rigid plastic. They're absolutely terrible. The looks you would get wearing these in public, even wearing these like while my husband drives me in the other seat, wearing these driving down the road, the looks that people would give you, these would not be helpful in a lot of um, motion sickness type experiences like a roller coaster or parasailing or um, rollerblading. I don't know, like any of those types of activities, I feel like you couldn't reasonably wear these. It's blocking so many different parts of my vision. This is, this can't be it. I can see the blue when I tilt, but maybe it works. And I would rather look stupid than feel sick. And then last in this category are those motion sickness bands. So they have a whole bunch on Amazon now. So many different cute colors. And I just picked up these ones for my kids because they picked them out because they love the pattern of them. I think a lot of them were also like the same brand are made from the same company just under a different uh, name brand but they all had really good reviews these ones so cute little pink hearts and then these ones are sea life creatures mermaids and stuff that's the brand Lygi. they have a uh, different wrist measurements so you can pick out what size would work for you and um, they did also have adult ones but I did go with a different brand so this one is from Hanfurt um, I had used those um, those sweatband ones that you can get and I just think they look terrible and they feel terrible and they're never tight enough they stretch out really easily so I had a lot more hope for these. They, these ones actually kind of look like a bracelet. I wish it didn't have that brand on that side though. It could have just been the fabric the whole way around. Now that we are on the plane, there are a couple things that are necessary and that is your entertainment. Make sure that you have headphones. So my kids, um, they've had these headphones for quite some time um, at school, but I didn't want them to bring the school ones home and then us not remember to send it back to school and all that jazz. So I just bought them an at-home pair. Also comes with a cord to plug right into anything um, and also a charging cord. They are Bluetooth, they are adjustable, um, and they are foldable. I also got them in another color. They have all of the buttons on the side here so that you can operate anything you're listening to, anything you're watching. Also has a 
microphone so you can make calls. A light so you know if it's on or off or dead. There's the jack and there's your charging port. So um, I think it lasts, they last for a couple of hours. Um, plane rides are kind of long and they're boring and you probably will want to plug it in anyway. Okay, so the headphones that I got for me and Daryl, they are the ones that I um, featured actually in a Mother's Day video I did over on my cannabis channel. They are really cool. They're just on um, these over the ear hooks. I know some people like to drown out all of the sound, but it's so anxiety inducing watching the person creep up slowly to offer you snacks or a drink and then just like waiting for the perfect moment for you to take them off so that you can actually hear what somebody is saying with these. I don't have to do that. I will hear when somebody is asking me for something. I'll have my kids also with me, so I'll be able to hear them, what they're doing, what they're asking for, if they need to go to the bathroom, all of that jazz. They have a really good battery too and the case recharges them a whole second time. Um, the downside, it didn't come with a cord, so if you wanted to plug in, you can't necessarily necessarily do that so they do need to be charged um, and I will have the power bank so if they do need to be recharged we can recharge the case um, they're also super cheap they're like 45 bucks but there's always a $24 coupon so if we were to lose these I wouldn't be very upset so far around the house I've used them probably a dozen times I really like them but I hope that they they actually like stand the test of travel. And then if you wanna watch anything on the TV, you can't listen to anything out loud, you are going to need one of these little Connect Air wireless audio transmitter, and it's to connect to AirPods or any other Bluetooth um, headset, Bluetooth headphones. Without this, you can't hear anything on the monitor if you have Bluetooth headphones, and you will probably forget the cord. We forget the cord every single time, so then we end up sitting there in total silence, and it's miserable. I'm not letting that happen. So I ended up up having to get two of them. They do each connect to um, two different phones. My friend Jeff is actually on vacation testing his out right now. I hope I get good feedback. He's the one that told me about this Me brand. It's a small brand on Amazon. That is it for the plane. So I was pretty skeptical about these. First of all, you have to wash them according to some specific, special instructions to make sure that they don't taste like rubber or plastic or silicone or anything like that. So they say you can either hand wash it, which I did with two of them. Just wash this the normal way with just dish soap and water filled it up with um, water from my refrigerator, see if it tastes like silicone or plastic or rubber or anything like that, or how easy it is to drink out of this. Cause this is like, it's flexible, which is not, it's not, no. It does taste good. It doesn't have any um, off taste or smell or anything. I don't think it needs to be boiled, but um, I don't think that I can get the spout on it exactly straight, which I guess there is no straight, but I, I would like that. And then the other two I boiled, which was actually kind of a challenge because they are like that lightweight silicone. They just kind of floated to the surface. So I was trying to like keep them weighted down into the water without smooshing them against the bottom of the pot so that they didn't melt to the bottom of the pot. It's not the easiest way of, of going about starting the process with these things. Um, and then I ended up bringing them obviously to the airport empty. That way, once we got through security, I could fill them up and uh, we could use them on the plane. Right before I got on the plane, like I'm talking 20 minutes max, I filled up mine and Daryl's water bottles because after testing it at home, I did not trust the kids to have these on the plane because they're super squishy. So they ended up getting hard shell plastic water bottles. I have this major fear that this water bottle is going to squeeze out everywhere, um, especially putting it into the side of the bags like so. So, um, but if I squeeze it really hard, nothing is leaking. If I tip it, nothing is leaking. It might be okay. And then I went to take my first drink. Oh, probably about an hour after I filled it up and it was the most disgusting plastic rubber tasting water ever. So all around, this thing is an entire fail. They're also heavy. And once you screw the lid back on, it doesn't like land in the same spot all the time and then have these things match up with the corners in the proper way. It was like hard to do, it was just hard to figure out. And then I kind of got this in order to hold either the water bottles or some Starbucks. But what I also realized about these are that they are just so massively large that if you have anything obviously that's smaller than that, then you would just cinch them up. But when you cinch it up, it squeezes it. It's not like they don't comfortably fit in there. So this didn't work. Now let me tell you what did work. The Dramamine. If you have had those negative side effects of Dramamine in the past, like the kind that make you, it makes you feel drunk or extremely sleepy, unable to keep your eyes open. Like you just cognitively, you're not there. The non-drowsy 
made with ginger. It did not do that to me at all. I did not end up using the Dramamine for my kids, so I can't review that. I didn't, it didn't feel necessary to have them take it if they didn't need it because they were using their bands and their bands worked so well. So normally the ones that come as sweatbands are a little bit too loose and they are a little bit too hot and a little bit too itchy and stuff like that. The kids don't really like it. They don't keep them on, but these ones, they're a little bit more snug. They're soft on the inside, which I didn't really realize. They're like almost a soft velvety texture on the inside um, and they are snug enough and the button is big enough to actually push on that pressure point. If you are an adult, but you have very small wrists, go with the kids ones though, because I went with an adult size small. I was right at the cusp of the measurement, the five and a half inch, and I should have sized down. Like if you're on the cusp, you should size down that way it is a little bit snugger and that way the button actually pushes. Um, the kids ones though, they were really snug so they kinda hurt after a little while to have them on but they work so well and these bands, they work in like two minutes when you start to feel like that tickle belly feeling and you know that things aren't gonna go well. Whereas the Dramamine, you have to take it like a half an hour in advance. Now these though, these glasses, they hurt. I couldn't even keep them on um, on the drive to the airport. This part of the plastic is so sharp and then the pressure of them bending like that and being pushed into my eyeballs, they these were a massive fail. I mean, also they look stupid. These headphones though, these are so cute, aren't they? Oh my God. These are the most adorable little headphones. They were very very easy for my kids. They did not die during the trip, but we only used them on the airplane on the way there and on the way back. So they maybe got like five or six hours worth of um, time on them, but they didn't die. These are a win for as cute and as cheap as they are. And they definitely, um, I mean, they definitely work. They take up a lot of space though. I would say that that is the downside because I had each of the kids pack a backpack for their things on the plane. And this is bulky. Um, but for kids, I'm not going to give them something like what we had, the little ear hooks, because they are going to drop it. They're going to lose them on the plane. I almost dropped them on the plane. I kind of wish I had something with cords because if I would have dropped it, there was no way I was going to find this or want to crawl all over the floor and try to find it. And I almost dropped them a couple of times. So the ear hooks. I do really like these. I like them more for at home though, not for travel. And the thing that you do need for the plane is the Bluetooth transmitter to be able to connect any Bluetooth headphones to be able to watch the um, the thing in the seat back. I didn't actually use mine because I ended up editing videos on the way there and on the way back, but Daryl did and he said that it worked out flawlessly. His suggestion would be though to pair this to your headphones prior to getting on the plane because doing it on the plane was a huge pain in the ass. We couldn't look it up and figure out how to do it, but he figured it out. The last few items that I have are just kind of like a couple of things that I, I picked up for actually being on the vacation. Um, first of all, sunscreen. Sunbum is the only brand that I trust. Honestly, every single time I use it, I am totally a-okay. If I stray, somebody ends up getting burnt, but not necessarily that one. This one, I am so excited for. We tested it out only once this week, um, but it is a face stick for kids that's SPF 50, and it's not like a cream. It's very fragrant. It smells very much like the Sunbum banana e kind of a smell, but it's a clear stick and it glides so well. Really nice. It's very easy to kind of just smoosh all around her face. It's waterproof or water resistant for 80 minutes. You can use it on wet or dry skin and yeah, it's clear. So uh, there's always an instance where someone has some white streak on their face that nobody told them about. Then I have sand cloud towels. I have my own sand cloud beach towel. That one I'm obsessed with, but I cannot rationalize buying my kids each their own sand cloud beach towel. So I found what I think is maybe potentially somewhat a dupe to it. And I kind of want to test them side by side. This is from Bay Laurel and it is one of those towels. It's just like a um, 100% Turkish cotton. It even has the same kind of things on the end, but it's one of those towels that you can shake off the sand and be able to use, um, which is never really 100% the case. If you, if you walked onto the beach towel with wet sandy feet, you are going to have like dirty marks on your beach towel. So you don't really wanna do that, but I still need to be able to shake the majority of the sand off. It's very large, but it also is very thin. It's definitely not as soft as my sand cloud one. This is so far, it's it's certainly not a dupe, but maybe it performs better in some way. It did also come with a little carrying case, which I don't know if that's necessary. And then the last thing that I got was um, just a little extra sun and face protection. I got an Adidas 
bucket hat, but I wear a lot of black, so I had to get it in black. They had it in other colors, and they were also super cute, but this one was really, it was on sale. It was pretty cheap, and it was from the, the Adidas store on Amazon. It's a good canvas, a typical canvas little fisherman bucket hat. Is this enough coverage to, like, actually provide any sun protection? Probably not. How much sun protection a bucket hat can provide is yet to be seen, so let's see. A beach vacation tip, and something that I didn't really consider before going on the vacation, I bought that one bottle of sun bum um, spray that lasted not even the first day. You have to reapply often and it covered like maybe six humans before it was empty. So I would definitely suggest a lotion over a spray. The sun bomb face stuff. This is the best thing I've ever tried in my entire life. I love this. It did not clog my pores. It did not give me zits, but I did try a cream while I was on vacation and it clogged all of my pores. I had like little white dots everywhere that I was picking at. So this sun bomb face, it, it's so easy to put on. It doesn't look greasy. It does for a second, but it absorbs pretty well. It doesn't look greasy. It doesn't feel greasy. It doesn't make you break out. It smells nice. It doesn't burn your eyes. The kids could use it. And then what ended up happening was we ran out of sunscreen again while we were out on the beach. So we ended up using this like on our bodies. We were using, we still have the stick. It lasted so long. Um, My daughter did absolutely love her towel though. She had kept it stored in here. It very easily fits back in here, Um, but it's very thin. It's lightweight. It dried very easily. It didn't cling to the sand. This was a nice, this was a nice towel. 100% Turkish cotton, very well priced. This also came in a whole bunch of different like patterns and prints and stuff. That was, that was a big win. And then um, my Adidas bucket hat. It turns out that I'm just not a bucket hat person. I'm not, I don't look good in them. <laughs> it also didn't protect me the way that I wanted it to. Like I wanted the brim to be big enough to protect my nose from getting sunburned, my, my cheeks and my forehead. And then the back to be big enough to cover my neck and it didn't do that at all. It was a poor choice. Okay, so. Of everything, I'm kind of surprised that I, I don't have that much to return. I thought for sure I would definitely have more things, but I did try to pick things that I felt like were going to be very useful and not so much just like these must-have Amazon travel things that didn't seem like they were very practical. Let me know what your favorite items were out of this haul. What things did you want to try and then were you turned off to them after this review? Did I de-influence you? I will have the links to everything down below in the description box and in the pinned comment. Thank you all so damn much for for being here. Huge shout out to all my patrons for making videos like this possible. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye.